Hi, I'm Dr. Jordan Krieger, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about the HOLEP procedure. Uh, there is a condition that many men are um, afflicted by as they start to approach their 50s called BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia. What this procedure or what this process involves rather is your prostate growing as you get older and causing blockage of your urinary stream. You have a bladder here that fills with urine from your kidneys and then you pee through this channel that is uh, that can become obscured by your prostate with time. The HOLEP procedure, which stands for Holmium Laser Enucleation of the Prostate, essentially allows people to urinate or void better by removing that obstructive tissue. The analogy I like to use is that you should think of your prostate like it's an orange, like the fruit. There's a peel on the outside and there's the fruit in the middle. The fruit is what grows as you also get older and makes it so that it's harder for you to urinate. The HOLEP, or enucleation of the prostate, involves going in through the penis with the camera while you're asleep under general anesthesia, finding that plane between the peel of the orange and the fruit of the orange, and removing all of the fruit with a laser. That fruit gets pushed into your bladder, and then we morselate or crush up the prostate, suck it out, and send it for pathology to check for prostate cancer. The procedure should not be considered treatment for prostate cancer. The purpose of it is to allow you to urinate better, the capsule or the peel of that orange that I was talking about, that's where prostate cancer tends to reside. And so since that is staying behind, we don't consider this treatment for prostate cancer. However, we do sometimes accidentally or incidentally find some prostate cancer in the tissue we remove. And then when we do, uh, we can get you treated for that with the appropriate methods if needed. The benefit of the HOLEP is that it can be done to any size prostate. It doesn't matter if you have a 20 gram prostate, it doesn't matter if you have a 300 gram prostate. Because it's removing all of that tissue, or that fruit as I described, you don't really have another procedure that you need in the future. Things can't really regrow because all of it is gone. So that's one benefit of, of the HOLEP over some of the other procedures you might see out there, um, such as the TERP. Some of the downsides to the procedure, however, are that two different things can happen. One of those things that definitely happens is that your ejaculation will go away. For some men, it's still very important for them to maintain this. What I always emphasize is that ejaculation is different than erectile dysfunction and different than orgasm. When I talk about ejaculation, what I'm referring to specifically is fluid or semen coming out of the penis with orgasm. So you still have that experience of pleasure, it's just that nothing really comes out anymore. So that's one of the effects of the surgery that's important to know about. The other uh, side effect that's important to know about is a temporary period of what we call urinary incontinence or leakage. So that bladder right now is squeezing very, very hard against that big prostate that it can't get urine through. And the sphincter underneath the prostate has allowed to be, you know, kind of lazy because the prostate's doing its job for it. And so when that prostate tissue gets removed, the bladder and the sphincter have to learn how to communicate well with each other again. So there's usually about a three to six month period where you'll be leaking some urine and you might even have to wear Depends or pads to stay dry while you retrain your sphincter and help your bladder calm down. But otherwise, the HOLEP is a really good procedure to remove all of that tissue that's making it hard or even impossible for you to urinate um, without needing another procedure potentially in the future. Okay, so let's talk about what uh, the day of surgery looks like for the HOLEP procedure. So you'll go to the surgery center uh, where your procedure will be done. You're gonna go to sleep under general anesthesia, meaning you're not gonna remember anything that happens during the surgery. Um, after the HOLEP procedure is completed, you will wake up with a Foley catheter. So that's a tube that goes into the bladder through the penis and allows your bladder to drain. That stays in place typically for about one to three days. About 50% of the time, people are able to go home on the same day of surgery. It kind of depends on what time of day your surgery starts, how your urine is looking afterwards, but about 50% will also stay the night in the hospital just to make sure that the urine isn't looking too bloody and that there aren't any problems. After the catheter comes out, we talked a little bit already about the fact that you're gonna be leaking some urine. What we'll do is talk about exercises called Kegels or even get you set up with a pelvic floor physical therapist who is an expert in these exercises to help you strengthen and get your continence back as soon as possible. Not everyone will have some leakage. Some men are, are lucky and they have none at all, but I always prepare everyone for the worst possible situation so that way you're well prepared and well trained to recover from your surgery. After the surgery is over, you might still have some blood in the urine for a couple of weeks. That's not atypical and will usually resolve with time. Patients who are on blood thinners are of course at a higher risk of having some bleeding issues after the surgery. Um, so we look out for those specifically in those patients a little bit more. 
Urinary tract infection is not common, but is also another possible side effect of the surgery. If that happens to you, we'll get you antibiotics to, to have you treated. If you're interested in learning more about the HOLIP procedure, please feel free to schedule a consult with me anytime, and I'm happy to talk to you about your specific situation in person. Uh, just call our office and we'll get you set up.